I now recognize Ms. Lee for five minutes. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, last year, I had the pleasure of meeting with Deputy Administrator Pam, Pam Melroy and um, was really uh, taken by her passion for expanding opportunities in space exploration and STEM. Uh, when I chose to serve as a member of the Space Science and Technology Committee, I envisioned opportunities to work with my colleagues to expand the realm of uh, STEM education and workforce beyond those who have traditionally had access to them. I hope the work we do and the funding we are advocating for here today will make uh, dreams of so many students from underserved areas. Um, I think of Trayvon Martin uh, before he passed who wanted to be an astronaut. I, I think uh, and hope that the funding that we advocate for here will make some of those dreams uh, become a reality around our nation. While NASA has no physical infrastructure in my district, uh, Pennsylvania's 12th, the businesses in my district are crucial to the work that the administration does. For fiscal year uh, 23, my district won over 58 million in contracts across 19 businesses and universities, including small and women-owned businesses. Uh, proposed budget cuts to NASA at 22% or more below uh, the fiscal year 23 enacted level is an attack on the brilliant minds and our innovative, industrious business owners who, who fuel American uh, leadership in space exploration and technological development. NASA has extensive partnerships in Western Pennsylvania, partnerships that it relies on to carry out its various missions and mandates. Uh, this current Congress continued to find new innovative ways to shortchange or take away from the American people, especially the amazing scientists, students, and workers in my district who are, who are helping to fuel NASA uh, to discoveries and technological developments that will vastly imp improve the human conditions here on Earth. Um, I will continue uh, to ensure my region thrives around this space economy. Administrator uh, Nelson, I congratulate uh, NASA for the two commercial lunar payload services missions that have flown this year. Uh, these missions have fostered national pride in our nation's space program and produced considerable momentum for the future. I know there are more missions on the way this year and next, including some missions that promise truly groundbreaking science and exploration opportunities. Some of these missions will also demonstrate important infrastructure uh, for improved renewable energy generation, such as space-based solar power. Power. Can you um, just please discuss some of these missions as well as outline your commitment to the lunar discovery and exploration programs in uh, Eclipse? Right from Western Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, is a company uh, that's uh, astrobotic. I know the one. Uh, they are going to have a mission later this year uh, with a huge instrument on it called Viper and it is scheduled upon landing to drill down in the South Pole underneath uh, maybe go down that far and to see if there is water in abundance we we know that there is ice because we've seen that in the crevices of rocks that are in constant shadow so if there is water, then there's rocket fuel, hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, the CLIPS missions that are going, uh, as I described earlier, are like scouts. They go out and they scout the wilderness before the humans get there. And uh, that's exactly uh, what we're doing. We will have the south pole of the moon characterized by a lot of these commercial landing missions, usually with NASA instruments, uh, we will have it characterized much more in depth. Uh, at the outset of your remarks, you mentioned something about uh, your admiration of Pam Melroy. I want you to know that is very mutual admiration. <laughs> Pam Melroy is the real deal. She's the third woman in the Air Force to be a test pilot, and she is the second woman in NASA to be a space shuttle commander. And so your recognition of talent is certainly right on the mark. Thank you. I appreciate that. And while I do have two other questions, I'm happy to have uh, let you go with that one, and I'm uh, happy to yield back. Thank you. 